Okay, I am in the workshop studio manufacturing unit of Charlie the Tin Man here in Selma, Alabama. And this is a man who's created all of this from scrap. He has his own scrap yard, he's telling me, where he goes around and buys stuff from people. Um, it's in Selma. As you can see, he's got all sorts of bits and bobs, including glue, not for sniffing. And we go through to the bigger unit where some of the more f the finished articles are. Look at this magnificent thing here. It's absolutely brilliant. And Charlie won't mind me saying so. This is a man that left home at 13. very little if any education this is not the result of an art school this is the result of natural talent and we're just about to go and have a word with the man himself if I can find him I think he's gone out the front here are his his two assistants his Naomi and Liz, Liz. there we go And there's the man himself, just to come out, about to come up with another creative idea. You Charlie, how are you doing? Doing fine. Could you just tell me a little bit more? I mean, you were telling me earlier that this is all your own work. You were never taught. This is basically the stuff that you've in the skill sets you've inherited from your parents your father your grandfather and your mother exactly right i i make toys i i people say you're an artist but i don't consider myself an artist i consider myself as a toy maker that i can make things and not have to worry about what it's going to look like because it's only just for me at that moment so Hold on a minute to that noise go on. That's what the noise is. But to, to be a, a toy maker, you have to find out what kind of toys that you actually make it. And so I make toys, the, the they educate people that make toys to write and say things for me, uh, like the do rag people. It's, it's in the honor of my great grandmother. Uh, even when I do the sculptures, it's in the honor of my great grandfather and them that worked in the field, worked for basically nothing. And so all of that is kind of like the way I can write and the way I can talk with my work. So it's not just say art, it's just more than just, it's a whole nother language to me. But this is not, I mean, you must recognise this is not just ordinary creation. This is outstanding stuff. Well, you, must, you must get asked about this. You, obviously, I know you sell the stuff, but you must get asked about this from all over the country. Um, people that walked up to me and said, do you know you, you're a genius then? But if you hadn't met any genius, you don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> so I hadn't met any of them. Uh, maybe I haven't, didn't know who they was, but anyway... I know this is a positive thinking thing. I really truly know that. And I know it's truly from my heart. And I know that I'm disciplined and I'm, I'm a humble servant in it. So I know all of these things about it. And it's about me telling about my past and then it's also enhancing the, the concept of my great grandfather. I can go down into the heart of him and his name won't be just laying on a tombstone, it'll be in books and stuff. Someone will read and know about that. Oh, Charlie had a great grandfather, this is what he did. But if I leave his name laying on the grave site, nobody will read no more than just the name. They won't know that this person had all of this inside of him. That's brilliant. 
I'm absolutely thrilled to have been and met you, Charlie. It was well, the honour to meet you. It's really, really good stuff. I mean, I know you're probably sick of people saying it to you, but it's good <laughs> stuff. Excellent. Oh, thank you.